Saturday, yay! It's the weekend. I cannot tell you the last time I had a proper night's rest in my own bed, in my room. Literally the full queen size bed to myself because normally there's at least half of it filled with my clothes, my laundry. Yesterday was like a really productive Friday. Honestly, I wish I vlogged starting yesterday, but a lot of times I can be more productive when I don't have to worry about setting up the camera. I really cracked down and I cleaned up. It just feels so nice to have my bed space back. I was able to do work and edit and just be in a clear, in a good peace of mind, state of mind. Yeah, I was just reminded how much your space can really affect your overall well-being, your mood, your productivity. Yeah, I gotta and maintain this. Anywho, happy Saturday. Today I have a long run to do, so that's like the first thing on my agenda. I believe I have a hundred, we actually? Oh, okay, 105 minute long run which I will take very nice and slow. That is my priority. The rest of the weekend, I kind of just have to myself. No plans, no pressure to hang out with anyone or do anything. I love it. You have limited closet space and so you have to start hanging stuff here and here just temporary though also i did a little swap out of this floating shelf here these were taking up an entire drawer in my room and i needed that space so i ended up putting a bunch of books here I think they look really good i used to have all my records which i'm still in the process of figuring out where those should go also my one direction yearbooks what if you didn't know i was a huge directioner back in the day that was my that was my livelihood. I recently rediscovered that I have all of those and so they're chilling there for now. I've done a lot of reorganizing in my room the last few days and it just feels so good again. My space, it's slowly becoming my space again. Still a work in progress. Let's go make ourselves a coffee. got sucked into editing i didn't mean to start this video but i just wanted to because i wanted to overlook some footage and then i just got sucked in so i at this for a couple hours i find it so relaxing and peaceful to do my editing on weekends i don't know i just feel i don't have other things to worry about whereas if i'm editing on the weekday I feel like i have there's so many other tasks to tackle because everyone's online but on the weekends everyone's offline and i can just focus on my crafts you know so this has actually been very fun i'm just pushing my run till later in the day to me it doesn't really matter because it's cloudy anyway so i'm very lucky in the sense that the weather is not a factor if i were to live somewhere where it is blazing hot in the summertime i would have already done my run by now but literally 12 o'clock noon there's really no pressure for me to get out there right away so i'm working i'm chilling i do need to take a little lunch breakfast lunch break i got some of the best pr the other day bob's red mill hooked me up they sent over granola we've got some hot and cold cereal lots of oatmeal and then some granola bars so our pantry is stocked i have multiple bags of their rolled oats here at home instant oatmeal this is their apple pieces and cinnamon or should i do i feel like these are good to save for on the go hmm. look at these different types of granola oh my gosh <gasps> lemon blueberry i've got the last bit of yogurt here in the tub so i'm gonna finish it off oh that smells so good mmm that is so yummy it's different i like it bit of agave in there that way i don't have a dish or bowl to wash later mmm I'm gonna slowly, slowly start getting ready. I think I wanna wear these Gymshark leggings. Sweat seamless, thank you. And then uh, it's a bit chilly out, so I might go for this like quarters, not quarters zip, it's a full jacket. I believe this is the Elevate jacket. Let's do blue or black. Let's go black. Do, 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 do. This jacket really. Oh, my chest is sore. I had a full body boot camp class yesterday, but I blasted my chest and I'm feeling it. Oh, I can barely even extend my arm out this way. My legs though, I mean, as of right now, they're feeling good. 
Should I just put my hair in a hat? I feel like that's just the easiest thing to do. Ponytail cap from Gymshark. Best thing about long run days are that I get to take a full shower and wash my hair. I'm trying to limit it to like two to three washes a week. Sorry, not two, three. My hair could not handle two washes only. I just like to slick back these hairs. Sometimes they don't always tuck behind my ear. And then the rest will obviously go in the cap. Brush that back, I should stay. Has a hole in the back, so I can sell my ponytail. Yay! One more hair tie for security. 20 minutes ago, I was kind of dreading this run. Now that I'm changed, the hair is up. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Sometimes that's all it takes, you know? I have been wanting to do this for so long, but I finally have a designated running drawer. Like I was saying earlier, I had a whole drawer full of those books, which I then moved to up there so that I could free up space for my running drawer. So I have a place to store all my gels, other running snacks, my salt tap, just literally anything I would need for my runs. I keep my Shox headphones in here, running glasses, my hydration bag, my spy belts, which I'll use today, as well as my bottles. That way it's just so easy. Whenever it's time for a run, I just come here. Previously, I had all of this stuff on top of there. I'm still working on clearing that stuff out, but we've made progress. I'll bring one. Maybe I'll just pack two just in case. Definitely like to have water with me when I'm on a longer run. At least with water. I'm gonna add my favorite electrolytes, an element to each of the, well not each of these, I'm gonna split it up into the two bottles. Thank you to my friends at Element for partnering with me on this video. When I need a little extra hydration, Element is my go-to electrolyte brand before, during, or after workout, even on days where I'm not working out and I just need electrolytes. Element. I'm gonna try my best to divvy this up into the two. Staying hydrated is always the goal, but sometimes it's not always the easiest, especially when you're training, you're working out, you're sweating, your body is losing sodium, and it's so important to be replenishing. Each of these element packets has 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Mm. Truly, all the flavors are so good, and I have yet to try one that I don't like. Today, I'm going for citrus salt. Lots of fruity flavor options that are sweet, but not too sweet. Salty, which I love, and just only the good stuff. Element is such a staple in my training and recovery and replenishment. If you guys are interested in trying Element, they are actually offering a free sample pack with any drink mix order. When you shop using my link, they will throw in eight of these individually packaged servings. Mix one of these to about 16 to 32 ounces of water. Really depends on your preference. And you get eight of these in different flavors. So a little sample pack just to try because they have so many to choose from. I'll have my link down below in the description. It's drinkelement.com slash San Francisco. That's D-R-I-N klmnt.com slash San Francisco. Got my stash of element here. So anytime before I run or when I come home from run, I just grab for one of these, add it to my water, sip, sip. Having them during run is actually such a game changer for me. I feel like the fruity, salty flavor just gives me a burst of energy that I need. And there you have it. I'm ready to go. If you guys are familiar with Strava, then you probably know that if you go on desktop mode, then you can plan out some routes. And so that's what I'm doing now. I think I want to do the Goliath Bridge today. So I'm gonna have to make my way through the Richmond, through the Presidio, down the bridge, back. This is an approximation. It looks pretty good. Not the elevation gain though. That does not look good, but we love a challenge, eh? to the Presidio. Let's see what I'm at. Just under three miles. A bit of rolling hills to get here, which I like. And before the run, I was dreading this hill that I'm about to take on. But I realized that the best time to train hills and to implement hills is on your long runs because they're going to be slow anyway. I feel like it also helps you get an understanding of what the hills might feel like during a race. It helps you sort of gauge how much effort you should be exerting because you don't want to gas yourself out on a hill and then be absolutely wrecked after. You want to be able to take on the hill, but also you want to be able to continue running after the hill and learning how to recover on your descent, I think is really important too. I think I've only ran here once, but it was going the opposite way. This was actually during my first ever half marathon. During the pandemic, I ran a virtual half marathon, literally signed up online. Sorry, I'm like holding you guys down here because I'm just tired. But yeah, I had signed up for a virtual race, clocked it in on Strava, and that was like my proof of completion. And then I got sent a medal, which 
I actually found while cleaning my room the other day and I hung it up on my wall next to my marathon medal. Yeah, that was the only time I've ever ran along Lincoln Boulevard here in the Presidio. It's flat for now, but soon we'll be climbing. Feeling good, weather's great. Oh my gosh, I feel like I won't even be able to see the Golden Gate Bridge because it's so freaking foggy. It's definitely not sunny, obviously, but it's so white and bright out that it's as if it was a sunny day. I'm kind of squinting because of it. I just saw the Golden Gate Bridge so faint in the fog. There it is. You can still see it, that's good. <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> they honked. How cute. I should have never done one of those. It seems fun, but also kind of dangerous. <laughs> Here's another. Woo. Sidewalk ends there, so bike path it is. Oh, it's probably gonna be cold on the bridge. Hopefully not too windy. later back from the run obviously have showered i'm clean now quickly getting ready i didn't have much time to rest honestly but it's okay start early and early meeting up with friends tonight cozy's parents are in town at a wine bar so that'll be fun and casual i'm attempting to use this freaking thermal brush which i am not a hair gal i don't know what the frick i'm doing i don't think this is really doing anything for me but i feel like it's better than my just bleh air dried hair I don't need it to be curly, but just that slight blowout look, you know? Once I learn how to use this, it's over for y'all. Oh my god, I'm literally malfunctioning on this side. Roll it. Twist. Oh my god, this is getting stuck. It's, oh! My two sides are not gonna look even. <laughs> I'll figure it out one day. Okay. Oh my gosh, wait. Is hair okay? I feel like it looks kind of, I don't know, depends how I wear it. I feel like anything would be better than just my plain hair, so this at least gives it a little bit of zhuzh. I have no idea where my freaking makeup bag is. I had like a small bag with all my main products, but I couldn't find that, so I had to just use what was in my not everyday makeup and just throw something together. Actually, I need to set my face, I forgot. Kept it pretty minimal. Put a little bit of powder. Bronzer, blush, and highlight. No foundation because, I don't know, me and foundation have not been friends lately. It's not been looking good. I feel like I always look so kicked up and it's just not a good look. And right now, while I'm tan and my skin is relatively clear, I feel like this is enough. Also, it's just less to take off later. Top is from Abercrombie. I'm debating if I want to stay in these jeans. These are from Revolve. I think I'm just gonna wear sneakers, so. Maybe this little bag. Oh 
Good morning. Good morning. Actually, I got up pretty early today. Literally 6 a.m. without an alarm. I got home at a really good time, like 11.30, so. Great night out. I love an outing that starts relatively early, ends early, you can get in bed, get a full night's rest, and feel perfectly fine on Sunday. I'm gonna arrange my vinyls that have been sitting on the floor, put them back on my shelf, and I'm gonna just arrange them in rainbow order, because that's literally how I do everything. This Charlie Puth one still has a plastic on it. That's... It's definitely better than being on the ground. Shift these over. Sorry, Dan and Shay. Your front runner spot has been. Yeah. That's better. I just threw in a little zip up. Something warm because it's a bit chilly out. I've actually been outside for a while now. Outside in the backyard. Do, 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 do. Very, very exciting. Actually, right before I was about to leave the house last night, both my parents and I, we were out here and we set up our new golf practice net. Shout out to Spornia for sending this to our family. The quality of this net is actually insane. We did have one previously. I'm not sure where my dad got it from, but it got wrecked from the wind and it was just a really cheap net. But this is this is quality, y'all. So easy to set up too. So I've been out here practicing. I put on a full outfit to really make it feel like I'm at the range yesterday i was in my pajamas <laughs> when we were setting it up and i took a couple swings and i was like this i feel so awkward and it doesn't feel right i really want to get better at the sport i don't always want to spend 15 dollars at the range just to blast through balls and not really get anywhere so with this i feel like i can focus more on my form and just making good contact rather than worrying about where the ball is going because obviously the ball is not really going anywhere mine is trying to hit the target and whatnot but not my main priority Not bad. That felt good. See, the real test is, will this translate when I'm actually playing out on the course? <laughs> I don't know. It just saves me the time and money of going to the range when I really just need to practice on my contact. That felt nice. It's nice because at any point I can just stop, watch my footage, see what's going on. Operation Pretty Swing, pretty strong swing. Pretty looking swing, pretty accurate swing. It's time to wrap it up because my stomach started grumbling so bad get ready to take a swing on my back swing i'm hungry your girl is hungry we're gonna do my favorite meal which is my favorite simple meal when i really just don't know what to eat eggs rice soy sauce we have some tofu that we get in san jose actually my boyfriend helps us get it because my mom loves this stuff i just reheat it in the air fryer get it crispy and warm again Little overdone. My bad. My bad. I got distracted. Oh no, did I pop the yolk? <gasps> no. Soy sauce. Sesame oil. Let's do some sesame seeds while we're at it. Yeah, I definitely popped the yolk on that one. Dang it. Oh my god, they're both pretty much popped or cooked. <sighs> fail, fail, fail. Usually I like to have this tofu with fish sauce, but I think we're out. Mm, I feel like I'm lacking some greens here, but it's okay. We love brown food. Mm. Back out I go. Very rejuvenating weekend, I would say. Truly relaxing, but still productive. I love it.
we end the weekend. I have my recovery boots, which I've been waiting to do all week. There's been multiple times earlier this week where I wanted to do this at nighttime, but sometimes I'm just so tired by the end of the day that I'm just lazy to get it all set up, even though it literally takes five seconds. But anyway, it is our designated recovery day, so we gotta do it. These are not the typical Normatec boots. Those are literally so expensive. I'm pretty sure these do just as good of a job. My dad bought this from Costco. This is my Christmas gift from last year. Let me get myself situated here. I've got a little sunset lamp going. Once I get into my boots, I'm gonna turn down the lights and just relax. Pretty sure my dad got the long version of these, so the boots are very long, even for me. Thank you.